So I'm going to be unboxing my 3D printer. Um, I have had a 3D printer before, um, and that was a 300 pound 3D printer from eBay, and it was horrible. It broke down after five uses. Um, and even then I was just testing it out. I hadn't actually used it for my architecture projects. Um, I did a lot of research and I realized in the end, all I need is a single nozzle extruder just to do massing models or rough models. Um, 3D printers are too expensive if you want them to be really fast and to produce the work that you need for university. To be honest, um, let's just get into unboxing. So what you actually get inside of the box is, so you've got the actual manual itself. They give you some filament, some, so it's some red filament. Yeah. And you get um, some screwdrivers and some equipment to actually grease the nozzle and also unplug it. And an Allen key. The charger and then so actually what you actually see inside is just a lot of packaging when you remove that it's a bubble wrap so what I'll do is take this not to break it this out um, it's nothing inside So there's the 3D printer. It's the Flash Forge Adventure 3. Um, it's currently one of their latest models. Um, and the reason why I chose this is because it's an enclosed, enclosed 3D printer. Um, the nozzle can actually be replaced, but it is quite hard to find or buy the replacement nozzle online because it's so brand new. It is quite a small print volume itself, but um, the nice thing about it, it's got a built-in camera. Um, it's contained, the actual filament itself is stored in the side itself, so it, you just um, you just install it there and close it off. And then you can go off to uni, you could be in a studio all day, monitor your actual prints from uni, from your laptop, and um, via the cloud or via your phone. And you know, you don't have to actually be there. So um, the reason why I like this is because, you know, I can just leave it in my room, it prints throughout the day. I could be off at work or off at uni and um, come back to a really nice printed model. Or if I observe it over my phone, I can just pause it if I want to. So let's take this out.
So it's got a clear plastic covering and protecting the top. So. Okay, um, so I'll start by showing you the side itself. So what you can actually see um, is where filament is stored. You can see it just sits in here. It's got a filament feeder as well, and also it detects if the filament runs out. Um, and I really like this because, to be honest, with most of the first 3D prints I got, it's really messy. You have to have a separate stand for the actual um, filament, and everything wasn't enclosed. It had a structure around it, but it wasn't enclosed, so you smell all the fumes. It just wasn't really um, a good environment to, to be in, basically, with that 3D printer. So, um, from the videos I've seen online, to actually um, remove this piece of cardboard, you actually have to turn it on. Um, I've seen a few people just pull um, the extruder up. In the actual first step in on, in the actual user guide, in starting this, is that there's some zip tiles on either side, so you have to cut that first. which is quite difficult actually. And then, I don't know if you can see it, but there's little clips in the corner, these green clips. So what I have to do is just take them off. That means that this can actually move up and down once I turn it on. So I'm just going to plug in the power cable. So it goes in on the side here, which is quite nice, and it's got an on and off switch as well. And they do give you a quick start guide, which from what I've seen online is quite useful. I'm not going to go through it in depth, but um, it does give you kind of step by step. It is in a different language, but it does give you step by step through images of what you actually need to do. So let's turn it on. So Flash Forge Adventure 3, you can see the light actually in there is turned on, which is great. One of the features that I really like about it, it's got a light um, built in. Oh. It's loading. And then um, let's just go through. So it's got a small LED, um, LCD um, screen here. Um, you've got, when you click on tools, it seems quite responsive. You've got settings, you've got calibration, you've got home, um, you've got move. So what we want to do is move that up. So as you can see, it's moving up each time I touch it. And that will allow me to clear this obstruction. Let's move it up a bit more. Perfect. And the nice thing that actually you can see, so one of the features that I really like about this is that it's got heated bed, but the heat, heat, heated bed is actually removable. So you can see the actual heated bed here. So it is a small footprint, but this is, to be honest, as an architecture student, this is probably the most you need. You don't need anything bigger than this um, because it will just take forever to actually print. So you can see it comes off. 
So that's the heated plate there that heats up this bed. Um, and it is quite flexible. So you can actually bend this to actually take off your models. And the good thing about this is that you can actually get this um, online quite cheaply um, if you wanted a replacement. It's also got a, 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 a nozzle that can actually come off. Um, so you can also replace that or clear clogs. Um, and if you look inside, on the side here, um, you have a camera in the back, um, that little black dot there. So you can actually see um, the build as it's going. Um, one thing I really like about this is that everything is kind of contained, covered. It comes pre-made. You don't have to um, put together um, the 3D model, um, the 3D printer. It just, you know, comes as it is, ready to use and print. Um, but yeah. And it comes with a filament. So what I'll do is the last part of this unboxing is to actually install the filament itself. So it comes with PLA red filament. One thing to be aware of is that there is a size restriction to what this um, 3D printer can actually house in here. Um, but you don't necessarily have to house your filament inside of the bay. Um, you could still have it on the outside and just remove the cover and just feed it through. Um, so let's install it. So as you can see, it you know fits in quite snugly and nice, and then you just feed that through. And you can actually see the motor moving that feeds the filament through. Perfect. And then So perfect. And that's the 3D printer. Um, you know, I'll put links in the description to where I got it from um, and how much it cost. Um, and in the future, I'll probably do more videos in terms of calibrating the 3D printer and um, just printing from it really. So this is my first 3D print. So I'm printing a filament spool, um, which will allow me to actually be able to print larger, you know, larger models with a bigger piece of P um, PLA filament. Um, I'm really impressed by this printer. This is the first print that I've, I've literally, all I did was collaborate um, the actual printer to make sure that it prints well and it's it's great look it's just printing i'm really surprised how easy this was because um the interface is great it says it's going to take about an hour and 48 minutes i've also got it connected via wi-fi on my um computer with the flashforge um software which is really easy to use um it's absolutely great <laughs>